Welcome to the Vortex of the Time Vortex. This is Strato Time. We're Strato here for a rather boring episode, I guess, today. Because I'm just doing some digging. I've been working on digging on my off time, trying to get this knocked out. Because <coughs> there's a lot here to dig out. <coughs> Got a ways to go still. A good ways to go. Uh, lovely. I'm down here at Y equals 36 now. Clearing out another section. And I'll be... And I've worked my way down quite far as it is. I'll clear out the stairs near the end. And this is where my zombie pigment farm's gonna go. At least a small one in the overworld. Well, sort of small, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Let's get to it here in just a minute. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is pretty much just a really boring and tedious process right now. Uh, let's see. We're basically going down by seven each time I go down by doing this and I'm shifting so it's a little bit slower and right now I'm getting access to my stairwell at this point because I'm right here on the edge there's actually I've cut into the ravine a little bit right here I just topped it off real quick so that I wouldn't have to fight with it. But as I said before, my plan is to turn this into a pigment farm. And that's... This is to go all the way down to bedrock. I know that was kind of suicidal of me, digging two holes straight down to bedrock. pretty crazy there right if I look at it this way though as I go down and gain different access points to the stairwell I can go up and down via the stairwell for transporting these excess items up and down. Stupid dirt blocks. <laughs> and yes, I won't leave like that iron all ore in the wall. That iron ore was just hiding. stone here. I'm not gonna leave a lot of the ores behind. I plant I'll double I always try to double check my walls before I dig down. Though I might miss something. See like that one I'm gonna ignore for a moment. I guess I did the outside one. But yeah, I pretty much just hold to this, you know. Let me work on, you know, just walking around in a circle slow and surely. I mean, it's still pretty quick, but it's still slow at the same time.
but I've also noticed that this has less of a tendency when I re-log to have, you know, ghost blocks. This is just slow enough. I have, because of the silk touch pickaxe, I have avoided so many silverfish. See, that's a silverfish egg right there. That's why it's taken so long to break. I really wish Minecraft would make it so, you know, when you collect the stone with the silverfish in them, it wouldn't break and become stone. It would still be a monster egg with silverfish in it. So if you wanted to, you could, you know, crack it open later with the silverfish or just dispose of them. Being, you know, throwing them into lava. But I really wish it had the monster, still had, you know, had odd stone or something attached to it in vanilla so you, that you know that it's the monster egg. Because you know it's the monster egg when stone takes a little longer to break. <sighs> but because you're silk touching the stone, it's not, you know, freeing the silverfish. But it shouldn't just. Oh, you killed the silverfish because you silk touched the silverfish block. I guess is a weird thing. Yeah, I'm still trying. I know how long I want to make it. I don't know how wide this room is, though. That is a good question. How wide am I? Am I just. I think I'm only 16 blocks wide, so it's not as wide as I would like. See, more silverfish spawner eggs. Oh yeah, I'm losing... I will be losing some of this stuff to despawn. Because I'm just going through. Just breaking all the blocks, but to be honest, at a certain point... really don't care if some of this stuff despawns. I still got to collect a lot of it, don't get me wrong. I'll do a quick run around to try to collect, you know, excess stuff that I don't have, run upstairs, deposit a bunch of stuff, come back down, retrieve a bunch of stuff, so on and so forth. A lot of the ores I'm still collecting because I'm trying to keep space for them. Or I'll keep like one block of the ore in my inventory after I unload just to make sure I've still got space for the ores to collect. I should st hopefully start seeing gold in the next couple of layers before I start running into diamonds. Well, also there's lapis lazuli and more redstone, but I'm not too worried about those as much. I'm debating on how to do this exactly, whether I want to do like a full massive level for the zombie pigmen, because I'm going to have to, you know, recheck my size, am I going to do it where I push all my zombie pigmen off to one side, do like a water elevator, and push the zombie pigmen upstairs? to then launch them off and have them fall to their death? Do I want to do a crushing chamber? <sighs> you know, that kind of stuff. You know, with the zombie pigment, I might actually be able to make a lava elevator. <laughs> Which could be very interesting. Make a lava elevator for zombie pigment. Ah, uh, more silverfish. There we go. So, what is my design idea? I think I definitely want to go with the 
plan of... I know that when I get my supplies, I'm going to send them to a central point underneath my main spiral staircase because my spiral staircase is a 3x3, three three, I want to say, in the center, which is perfect for an item elevator. So I want to turn that into an item elevator as well. At least until it gets to the either into or to the bottom of the iron golem farm. And once we get to the bottom of the iron golem farm, it's either going to go out one way or I'm going to send it into the iron golem farm water stream to get pushed into the hoppers. That first set of hoppers so that they we can then move it into the sorting system. which I'm probably going to build on the outside of the mountain right now before it turns into a... until I cover it up, that is. So that's my plan there. Mostly, you know, I said just chatter for this episode as I'm just kind of mining away and talking to you guys about my plans for certain things. So there's just a lot of digging going on. And my time is a little more limited. I wish I had a little bit more time to do this, where I could just, you know, focus on doing this for a longer period of time. Be like, oh, here, let me do a time lapse, and, you know, do my other stuff. Uh, yeah, it would be a little nicer. There's just a lot of digging to do in here. More silverfish eggs. But yeah, as I said, this is pretty boring. Just, you know, I mean, try to imagine what I'm saying for now. Because I said, I don't want to determine my side and, you know am I gonna how am I gonna push them so on and so forth do I want to have a separate you know elevator drop shoot your viewing area for this one so that you can see the zombie pigment spawning it on one side and then falling down into the water streams more silverfish I need gold for powered rails before I can continue my other project, sadly. <sighs> Lovely. Oh, look, I did miss some, some more stuff over there. Oh, well. <sighs> yeah, because this is perfect right here in the center. It's a nice... It's actually more than a 3x3. Three three. more of a 2x2, two two, so I could do multiple items coming up in the elevator section. If it's just a 2x2, two two, I might actually just push it all the way into the bottom of the uh, goal and drop chute, so to speak. some of this extra stuff real fast like the gravel this 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 and this we can play with some of this other stuff a little more later oh, I want to come here place one there put the rest there um, you have the dirt we go 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 back downstairs as quickly as possible try to collect what else we can Because a lot of my stuff is going to start despawning here in just a moment. I 
Got my head of the despawn. Okay, there's a few pieces on top of that gravel that despawned. So that's not too bad. That'd be kind of cool to have, you know, a double elevator, I guess, in here. I could have a four-way elevator if I have another farm of some kind, I guess. Storage. Lots of stone. Lots and lots of stone. See, I still want to collect my granite, my andrasite, even my bird poop diorite, according to Exumavoid. Not Exumavoid, but uh, Iscal, I mean. I gotta collect my bird poop. I'll admit, it needs to look a little bit better. It does kind of look like bird poop. But you know what? I'm okay with it for certain builds. I'm gonna have to go visit the zombie room again. Go visit the zombies again so I can get more more XP on my pickaxe. I would say I hope you enjoyed, but I at least hope you enjoyed my little chat today. If you did, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next round. As for now, this is Stratoton, or Strato signing out.